Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and as promised today is round two of F1 Esports Challengers in Bahrain and this one is quite a tricky one because as you might know the second round of each event is a one-shot qualifying one so basically uh, we don't have a full 18 minutes 18 minutes long qualifying session we have one shot to do a lap under pressure and that is quite tough actually and this was obviously my first time doing this ever so Going down into turn 1, we're gonna break at around 100 meter board, uh, into second gear, not really hitting that apex, but make sure we get a clean exit over here, and we do that indeed, um, running that outside curb as well, trying not to invalidate our lap, as we now head into uh, turn 4, into 4th gear, again missing that apex slightly, and I was just lacking grip for some reason, I was really struggling here through this first sector uh, in general when it came to practice. Uh, through the S is also a little bit tentative, but into this uh, herb in here, second gear, getting very nice rotation, hitting the apex up to 4th on the exit, uh, and now going up here before, again going down here for turn 10, breaking while turning very difficult corner into second gear and up to fourth on the exit again and through here we actually got a decent enough run to put us back in p4 and we are the fourth fastest car as it stands right now by going down into this turn 11 we go very very deep i missed my breaking point completely and we lost three positions on that so we all need a banging last sector here if we want to make this quality session any good into fourth gear again missing the apex slightly this lap is absolutely terrible so far and I am not happy with it as well, as you can see, shaking my head a little bit. And going to the final corner, I know I have to push. I know I have to get the best possible last corner. But as you can see... Oh, my boss. Kurde. Oh, nice. Yeah, so as you can hear me, I'm not being very happy with that. Um, invalidating the lap in the final corner means I will be starting from the very last place on the grid. Which is just unlucky, uh, because we were on for, I think, a P5, P6 kind of starting position, which would definitely be better than P16. Uh, the only advantage we get is we get to choose the tires, and as you can see, we're gonna put on fresh softs. Uh, you know, you would think we should put on mediums, but um, we realized during practice that the fresh softs at the start strategy is the better one so yeah let's get into it let's get on with the bahrain grand prix in f1 esports challengers they're sitting on the grid now we're waiting for the lights to pop up and we have three four five red lights and away we go for the race start we get a beautiful start already going to the inside the, of the ferrari uh, for some reason we're gonna get an illegal overtake here on the ferrari i have no idea why but going down to turn one i am just taking it very very safe i know there's gonna be incidents in front so the best way i can do the best thing i can do starting from last is to avoid all of them and we do that indeed perfectly now finding the inside of the ferrari again trying to get past it the red bull in front of us on the medium tires defending very hard we send it down the inside and we almost run into the others that was a very late move uh, in hindsight now that was not the right thing to do going to that corner uh, but thankfully we don't lose our wing and we don't lose any positions here again being very safe uh, just trying to get past the medium runners most importantly not the soft runners and uh, yeah, we do get past Kedden, which I, who I think was disconnected from the session. So we are up into P14. The two guys in front of us now are on the medium tires. So the goal is to get in front of them as soon as possible. As you can see, using all of my battery here on the Alfa Romeo. When we think about the inside, we're going to go to the outside, just squeezing in there around the outside of the Alfa Romeo. And we do a beautiful maneuver going into turn 11. And we are up into P13 with another medium runner in front of us now. Uh, as there is a uh, Red Bull of Chana Kinshi who actually does not have a bit of his front wing. So he's going to be slow in front of us as well. But as you can see, despite the poor getaway, poor first sector, we are making up the ground. Uh, in the latter stages of this lap out of the final corner we get a very good exit obviously uh, I think uh, this Ferrari did it is on the medium tire yeah so he's not gonna get the best exit and we're gonna pull alongside and at the end of lap one we are already up five positions compared to what we started and that is uh, a very good and positive lap one most importantly we got all the medium runners out of the way so yeah let's now focus on on catching the guys on the used softs, the, the guys started inside the top 10, obviously started on used tires and first of them is Ruben Vallejo who despite being 8 tenths in front of me at the end of sector 1 uh, is, we are right on his back, 
come the end of the lap. He actually goes a bit wide here out of the final corner and we're gonna try to capitalize on it. Use some ERS and we're gonna pull the inside setting the fastest lap of the race as well. So we are absolutely flying at this point and just getting past these guys as if it's nothing. Going down to the one, breaking a little bit later. He backs out of it. He knows it's not, there's no point battling. We are on way fresher tires and we get in front of Ruben Vallejo. We're gonna try to maybe shape up the Alfa Atari here going into turn four, but we think better of it. We're gonna wait for the straight. And this is where we're gonna strike. Uh, and you can see right on his back there through the final corner. And we get a very nice right, exit again yes. using our ERS. And we will be getting past the Alpha Tari with ease. He actually uh, seems to be defending a little bit. We pull alongside, but we have the inside, which should be a very safe and clean move into first gear, even the quickly short shifting, leaving him space in turn two. And yeah, we do get past. Uh, the Alpha Tari of Schelle there, and we're up into P9, continuing our pursuit oh, through the field. Um, but lap 4 now, and this is where the used softs start to drop off a little bit, and that's why these runners are into the pits as we set another fastest lap. So the fresh softs still have the pace. The used softs, they already have to pit for the mediums. That's the kind of difference we were capitalizing on. And you can see on the next lap, I didn't really make any gains, but um, we got past um, the, all the guys in front of us because they all pitted and no, since I had great pace because he's setting another fast lap I decided to continue on for one more and on lap six we're gonna pit for the mediums trying both the overcut and also the fact we're gonna have fresher tires for the rest of the race and we will be we will be needing to make some moves because the, some guys in front of us have three four lap older tires than us and in a 25% race that is a massive difference trust me on that so let's see where we're gonna rejoin. You can see all these runners uh, flying past on the straight. We're obviously not gonna rejoin near the top of the grid. And we're gonna rejoin right behind you, Lars, exactly where we were um, before. So that is perfect. We now have the freshest tires out of everyone. And we'll be taking full advantage of it if we can. So um, at the end of lap 8 here, you can see we get a very solid exit here. And I decided to shape up Yulas, who also started on the fresh softs, remember, but he put it one lap earlier than me. But we'll be trying to take advantage of the fresh rubber we have. We're gonna send it down the inside into turn one from around three tenths back. We make a bit of contact, but we make the corner and we make the move stick. Absolutely fantastic there. Uh, just completely sent it on Yulas. Uh, a bit of contact, but I think it was all within uh, the limit of hard racing there. And um, now we're gonna be shaping up Jeffrey Richard. We have no ERS, but neither does anyone really. Uh, everyone is um, on the, the you know the very um, limit of the battery. They're all flashing the real light. A little bit of a slider from Jeffrey Richie. He is on tires that has four laps older than mine, so we'll be absolutely flying uh, past him as soon as we get the opportunity. Um, here, I guess you can see, I was thinking about the straight, but we don't get the best no, exit. And uh, here I said in Polish, obviously, that I will be um, attacking him on the straight. You can see, he doesn't have battery, but neither do I. And we will need another send going to turn one. He is defending, but we will be attacking. Going down into turn one, lightening our braking a little bit again. Just maximizing the, the apex speed there and getting in front of the Mercedes. Two moves made exactly the same way. And we are now up into P7. Uh, and in front of us, we have Peter Sahulets, who we are actually working together for this Challenger series. So um, here we were just talking about how we're gonna shape up the Alpha, uh, whoa, the Aston Martin in front of us, sorry, um, who was very slow. He also undercut a lot, so his tires were not in a great state. You can see everyone in front of us flashing the light. We get very close there on the uh, apex of turn one. We're gonna try to get a good exit. We're obviously not gonna be attacking Piotr as we are working together with the Ferrari, but um, we want to get past the Aston Martin very as efficiently as possible as he goes a bit deep going to this turn four and uh, Piotr will be taking advantage of it. They are going side by side and I'm just here to try and take advantage of any battling they do. They leave space for each other. It's all looking very nice and here they will be going for the inside. So I'm going to around the outside and gonna try the switch back. We're getting up the inside of both of them. We are going three one wide and uh, here I decided to lift off back off from this because this could only end badly as you can see for the Aston Martin he spins and we are up in position thankfully without throwing damage however um, we lost the RS to the top four and um, it's unlikely that we're gonna be able to regain it um, yeah, we get past the Aston Martin obviously not the way uh, any of us would have wanted but um, yeah 
Uh, now we have the fresh tires, and here I said to build that I can go ahead, maybe try to catch the top four, and maybe we can make something happen. As we obviously have the fastest tires, both of us, uh, the guys in front of us, bit on lap four. So um, we have two laps, all fresh tires, and one or two laps make a huge difference uh, in the 25% race. However, it wasn't enough of a difference. I didn't get the DRS and I gave the position back to Piot uh, as he rightfully deserved. He let me go. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't catch them. And um, yeah, I gave back the position to uh, my country mate, really, um, who I'm working together with uh, for this series. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the race in Bahrain. We're gonna come out to the final corner and after starting in very last place on the grid, P16, we're gonna go uh, and finish in P6 and score 8 points and also solidify ourselves in the championship lead. And yeah, those are the race results. So P16 to P6, we also got driver of the day for that performance, which I think is deserved. I mean, we've done some fantastic moves, made our way through the field and uh, got P6 in the end, which could have been P5, but as I said, decided to not defend from Piot as we are working together and uh, we shouldn't be really battling each other as that could end badly. But um, yeah, those are the standings right now on the screen. We are leading the championship after event one, 33 points ahead of Samuel Bean. Most importantly, John Evans and Wilson, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, I think the two biggest rivals for me this season uh, are down the field with 19 and 18 points respectively. So uh, not a great um, performance from them in the first event and we take full advantage of it. So yeah, we lead the championship and going into uh, the next five events, there's definitely a lot of confidence inspired into me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I see you soon in another video.